How's it going guys? I'm Hills Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Adventure Quest release video. So this week's release was a little bit delayed but we only have golden gift boxes to go through. So let's go ahead and see what the items are. Now unfortunately the info subs aren't out yet so that's okay. Uh, we'll go through all of them one by one but I think should it they should just be in the rare and go ultra rare gift boxes. But we'll check everything just uh, in case. We missed out on anything. I also want to go through the Chessmaster Saga War. There's a 25% and 50% cutscene already out. Also, the Umbra Walker of Time package, which I will go through in more detail later on. Right, so let's see here. Anything new? Runebreaker Mace. Okay, I think this is new. This mace is wielded by warriors specialized in defeating mages. Ooh. It can shift the runebreaker mode to deplete a foe's mana and deal greater damage to foe's lacking mana. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So based off the description, I think uh, you can switch modes to damage the enemy's mana instead of the HP bar. This, I think it's not such a good ability inside of the game. It's certainly interesting and unique, but is it a good ability? No, simply because most monsters nowadays, they uh, rely on SP rather than MP. And even for the MP uh, spell casting monsters, they usually aren't like boss monsters from what I remember. And on top of that, they also usually have a way to regenerate MP. But then again, this is only a rare box. I would say if you have extra if you have a lot of extra boxes maybe you can consider picking this up but other than that i don't think it is such a good effect unless we see more boss monsters using uh mp instead of sp for their special attack and deals greater damage to foes lacking mana i'm not sure uh if this is dealing more damage for foes with greater than zero intellect or greater than uh less uh zero or less wait with foes that have zero or less intellect, I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Or is it just foes that have less than they have zero or less mana, or foes that have like a certain a like lesser amount of mana? So meaning to say, it could be good synergy if it's like, you know, the lesser your foes uh mana is according to the percentage of their MP bar, the more damage you deal. They'll have some good synergy, but. Yeah, is this worth a rare box? Only if you have a lot of extra rare boxes. Otherwise, you, I think you can skip this. Runebreaker Defender. Enhances your outgoing damage once a foe is drained of mana. Even more potent when paired with the Runebreaker Maze. So, good synergy there. This one, minus 26% to Earth. You have 14, 11, 16 for your defenses. Uh, if you're getting the weapon, get the shield as well. Otherwise, you can skip. You either get them as a set or don't get them at all, in my opinion. And let's see here, nothing new, nothing new. Alright, now let's go ahead and check out the Ultra Rares. There's also the Hex Bound Knight thingy, which they said uh, will be coming out on Monday 15 August. So unfortunately, we are not going to be able to cover that in today's video. That's fine, I'll probably cover it on Thursday's video, yeah, when it comes out. So that's when we'll do that. Nothing new, right? Nope. Shoes. Yep, okay, nothing new here. Maybe the Hexbound Knight is supposed to be in Ultra Rares. Alright, and that's it. Now let's go through the uh, today's event, Chessmaster Saga, and then we'll finish it off with the new token package. Alright, so we'll skip this, 25%. Not that cold, I don't want the metal to crack. Alright, this place is almost set. Put the thick of the forces behind it. As soon as we can stop splitting our attention, come back to the last door. Make sure it goes off, then do a fighting retreat if you have to, but get behind the lines quickly. Leave yourself time to run. I don't have to remind you what happens if you try to teleport in here. They are not slowing down half as much as we planned. We could focus on getting started. That's the original plan, but not everyone is fully attuned to their ops. Besides, these traps aren't just for the army. Subverting them helps me to make helps me make sure Entropy hasn't been here and isn't watching. You can't divine into this place or teleport past the entrance without ending up in an elemental plane. But we can't take anything for granted if entropy has that orb. Half. Well, that coward risk walking into that mess outside though. Freak will have to avoid gods, armies, and the chosen to get here fast. All while risking the orb. Because I think he was lying about not knowing much about my plans. And what he doesn't know, he'll realize when he finds out we are here. It's a stretch, but if I'm right, I, he could still ruin everything. I could tell from his help that he knew more about Erebus than even people like Korriban. The only other people who knew half as much about the Shade's origin were Pops and the people he worked with. 
Whether you worked with my father or learned from Erebus, his information is almost on par with the people who worked on the Epsilon process. Imagine what he could do if he found the actual technology. If he succeeds, an Epsilon process based on the orb of uncreation would be horrifying. If he doesn't, why wouldn't he come after the next best thing? The Sigma ritual is directly based on that work. So we have to hurry before the army catches up. But we also need countermeasures in case Entropy realizes who I am. Why are you staring? Nothing. Oren raised a clever girl. Sometimes I feel like I'm listening to him score the first generation again. But then I realize you've, qu you've gotten even smarter. He'll be proud. He didn't want to have anything to do with this anymore. Epsilon, gods, revolutions. This will all be too reckless for him. I'm sorry, are we talking about the same shaper? Because I remember a man so driven that he got a light bringer to open her eyes and half of her clan to shut up. Fair enough, I'm done here. I'll get started at the door. You all know your next moves. And 50% cutscene. Oh. Oh. Uh, no. Okay, so that's it. This war is only 1.5 million waves, so it is half the size of the previous war. That's why it's progressing so quickly, and I think we should be able to reach 100 uh, by next week. And, oh, I already went through this. Okay. Excuse me. Reward shops. Okay, so for those of you guys who already have the Shadow Walker of Time, like me, you can just straight up buy the new Umbra Walker of Time. They function exactly the same. There's no differences apart from cosmetic differences. To get it, just go to packages and uh, let me see, where is it? Packages. Shadow Walker of Time, yep. And I think they made the new Shadow Walker of Time. The old Shadow Walker of Time scale to your level as well. So there's a few updates to the items. Uh, good updates, by the way. Not any stupid nerf updates or whatnot. So there's the Umbra Walker uh, Staff of Time and Umbra Walker's uh, uh, Scythe and Staff of Time. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so it has a small chance to grant you and your ally celerity for one turn. And there's also the dagger version. Yep. So they just look purple. The regular one is black. I do prefer the regular one. Uh, purple is not really my thing, but you know, it being darkness and all, I don't really think they could have went with any other color. And then of course you have the Umbra Walker of Time armor. All right, ooh, wow, actually that looks pretty good. Dang, okay, uh, I stand corrected. Yeah, this looks pretty good for the armor. The weapon, not really worth it. If you have the full set bonus, the celerity is doubled, but again, I don't think it's really worth it. The shield, if your enemy hits you, uh, or if you dodge an attack, I can't remember which one is it. There's a chance for you to inflict bleed on your enemy. Again, uh, I wouldn't say it's super worth it, but yeah, the one thing that you want to get the set for is definitely the armor. So right now, it's in the 20k Z token package set, but in the future, they are going to move it to the 50k Z token package set. So is it actually worth getting? I would say yes, okay? And they did extend the uh, Z token sale. So if you are buying Z tokens right now, you do get a little bit extra bonus. So if you want to get a package, Umbral Walker of Time, it is a good package to get, in my opinion, simply because of the armor. The weapon and the shield is pretty meh. They are not that great, but yeah, why uh, you really want to get the armor. Okay, so let me just showcase the armor. Oh, we already have an extra slot. So let's buy this. Okay, so some changes they made. First things first, of course, they made the armor skill. So that's a good thing, which means anyone at any level can use it. And on top of that, it's going to be completely free, okay, uh, which is very nice. Definitely for the lower level players who are looking to upgrade their armors. Now they don't need to keep upgrading. It's automatically upgraded. And on top of that, it is 100% uh, free. So that's a good change. And then the next change is they also did something with the skill, which I will go through later on. Okay, let's save the sort order first. Alright, let's go test it out against Combat Practice Trainer. And why is the armor so good? Let us go ahead and review the armor. Hide the pet. Uh, Umbra Walker of Time. Shoes. Weapons. We just use something that doesn't have a special. Okay. So Umbra Walker of Time, you can see here, it's a fully offensive armor. 55, 55, 45 MRM. Pretty standard. Uh, it is strong against Darkness, obviously 39%. Ice is the secondary resist, 44%, and everything else, 90%. Okay, so you can defend well against darkness with this armor. Ice, maybe a little bit, but, you know, it's usually not recommended. And then, of course, 90% to everything. Compare this with the original Shadow Walker of Time I have here. Yep, just cosmetic differences. And 
what they changed was the first skill overclock okay so last time it was only range and magic modes now they also added a melee mode so range uh warriors rejoice very good uh change for warriors 490 sp you do extra 50 percent damage but because of that the your enemies have a small chance of gaining celerity is this a good skill i would say not really simply because like you see here they get the celerity turn and you don't really want that if you're looking to nuke then i would say there are better nuking armors out there your blood mage blood circus or and all that kind of stuff so uh why not z kindred like there's a whole bunch of good nuking armors out there the what you want to get the armor for is not for the first skill but rather for the second skill second skill here again 490 sp let me just gain enough sp so what it does is it inflicts a permanent fragile on the foe minus 33 fragile each time uh you get a successful infliction the mo once it's inflicted on the foe it is permanently there the monster cannot save which makes it very very good and on top of that it can stack so you can see a permanent 9999 no way the monster can get out of there and if you continue to stack it then yeah this is where it becomes super duper good all right and i'm really glad personally that they decided to leave the skill as it is because apparently some idiots want the skill nerf but why would you do that that is literally the best part of the armor and the reason why so many people want this armor to return is simply because of how good this skill is look at that this is amazing and uh, i'm glad the staff made the right and the smart decision not to nerf the second skill because you see here yeah this is the entire reason why the armor is good the entire reason why you even want to think about buying this package is for the second skill and it's a unique skill no other armor in the game or no other item in the game currently inflicts a permanent fragile status to my knowledge so yeah this is the only one so far and it is super duper good all right it allows you to bypass all the damage caps especially those of like diamond dog that is super duper annoying to deal with so yeah very very good skill and uh if you have the extra cash i'll definitely recommend everyone to go ahead and pick up this package okay the artwork wise i will rate this artwork uh the armor yeah man i'm not a fan of purple but I have to say the armor looks very good okay uh 10 out of 10 for the artwork and of course for the second skill based off the second skill alone the armor gets a 10 out of 10 weapon and shield not really worth a pickup they all come with a package anyways but i don't think they are worth using really man this skill is super good and you know they should not touch the package anytime soon hollow did say that they are not planning to you know uh touch or update the package because it's still quite new they have already updated the package but you know it's buffs so i'm fine with that so i assume what he means is they are not going to nerf the package or the second skill which is why everyone should go ahead and pick it up because it's going to be good for quite a while at least so yeah kudos to them if you if the star wants to earn money this is the way that they should go about doing it this is what i have always been saying so all in all uh good change good package and yeah that's going to do it for today's video guys hope you guys have enjoyed the episode if you have be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content also if you're a new or returning player you need help or resources with the game you can go ahead and check out my discord the link is on the right hand side of the screen right now or if you're a veteran player you just want a place to hang out talk aq anything about aq or any of the other ae games completely unfiltered you can go ahead and check out my server as well till the next time i'm your host carbine gaming peace out